hello everyone welcome back to our channel thank you for always stopping by in today's video i want to talk about ungratefulness and the consequences which most of us are facing today that is making us not to render help that is making people not to render help to us because of some grateful people around us or some grave or the kind of ungratefulness you displayed towards your fellow human being I am using myself as a case study for this video I want to talk about. I'm not talking about any other person other than myself and the encounter I've encountered in my course of carrying out my spiritual work. Let me start from a woman I helped early this year. She had this issue of conception. She had done like three IVF. It was failed. To the extent that the mother-in-law married another wife for the husband, the husband abandoned her to meet the other woman. So when somebody I worked for in the channel now brought her to me, I told her what to do. First of all, I made her husband leave the uh, second wife and return back to her. The second one, I told her what to do. I, there is a herb I prescribed to her. Ordinarily, some spirituals, spiritualists will prepare their herb, can it, and sell it to you. And you will pay a huge amount of money for it. But out of, you know, my good heart, because of uh, the way she cried to me and the person that brought her to me, the person is our subscriber too, I've worked for her and her family. So I did those things. I told her, if you can get this, do this, do that. And after like a month or two months, she took in. So when she took in, she did not tell me, and I keep doing things because I did spiritual work first of all. Then after that, she took in. She didn't tell me. The lady that brought her to me and called me that, that her friend is pregnant to her, she called me. I said, no, I was happy. Out of excitement, I called her. She didn't pick up my call. And after some time, I called her again. She didn't pick up. So I said, maybe she's not. She, maybe she'll call me when she sees my missed call. So after two days, she called me. And I, I was like, I, how are you? I didn't want to ask. I wanted her to tell me first. I asked her, how is she feeling? How is everything? She now told me eh, that she's pregnant, but she's hiding it from people. She doesn't want anybody to, winch, uh, to bewinch her baby. I said, nobody's going to bewinch your baby. Okay? What you need to do, you are going to protect your baby, protect yourself, because a lot of eyes are on you. I never knew that maybe they'd be winching, maybe I'm even part of the people that is going to be winch her. I never knew. So after some time, she stopped communicating. Then she now went to her church to give thanksgiving. I'm not against giving thanksgiving in the church. She never even called to tell me, thank you, the things you gave me worked, the thing you prescribed for me worked, the work you did for me worked. She now went to her church to give thanksgiving. And the, the, she started going to their weekly fellowship where they pray for pregnant women. In the process of the pregnant and the praying, I don't know, she said that her pastor's wife pressed her tummy. That immediately she pressed her tummy, she felt as if somebody charmed her baby or something like that. She started having uh, stomach problems and they were, she was rushed to the hospital. And it's, the, uh, there were traces of miscarriage. That was when she died remember Solution Empire. And I told her, first of all, I gave you some things, I did some work for you, you became pregnant, you felt I was not necessary, telling me it was not necessary. Now you went to your church to give thanksgiving for another miracle somebody performed. That was not, as if that was not enough. Now you came back to me for me to pray so that child will not go out. If you are to be in my shoes, please tell me what to do. Because this is not the first person, you know, the second person, not the third person. Now she's not disturbing me, I should do everything humanly possible. For the pregnancy not to go out this is number one person these are three people that brought me to do this video or oh, there are many but i just want to talk about this three this three is really the thing it really got me here i couldn't hold it again the second person the man the, he was sat in an office for about eight years no work they were just depending on the wife's shop the shop was almost down a lady I worked for directed her to me. She, uh, we, she came with her husband. I did some work for her and the husband. The husband got a contract of over 30 million naira. 
So before the contract came, we had, I, I know how many days we prayed from 12 a.m., 12 midnight to 1 a.m., just to make sure that that contract gets to that man's hand. So when he was giving part of the uh, money to start to commence the job, he told me, okay, before then he told me that they have approved the contract, I should keep praying, let them release the first uh, advance, which I did. I was in all these things with my money because I wanted them to be okay so that they would not pay me back. What did I get in return? So when the man got the first installment, he told me the day they paid him, he showed me the check, I was happy. I, he said I should not share it on the channel. I said, no, it's not everything. It's not all the testimonies I share on the channel. Let's leave this one apart. So the next thing I, I heard, that I didn't hear from him again. He never communicated with me for over three months. And me, I'm not the type, I'm not good at calling people. If you're very close to me, you will know that. The man now went to the church, his church again to give thanksgiving with, I think, a cow or thereabout because the person that brought her told me, that uh, the, the man give me sorry. So the person that brought him now called me. If Mr. Soso person called me, I said no. So maybe the person called him, he now called me, I should send my account number, let him appreciate me. I said no, you don't need to appreciate me. I did the work for you. Pay me the money, I don't need your appreciation. Pay me my fee. He said okay, he just wants to appreciate me that he's going to pay me the, by uh, tomorrow or next. Just, this one is just appreciation. I sent my account number. I didn't hear from him again. So when he now went to give Thanksgiving in his church, his village, he went to his village church, not even the where, where he was staying. He went to his village church just to tell his village people that he have arrived. He has still making money again. He now knocked him down again. He now ran back to a full solution empire. That was when I told him that enough is enough. That the, the fact that I am good does not mean I don't have sense. You got the first in some installments. He never called me. Do you know what this man said? That the wife said that he should not even tell me that they have paid him the money. So these are the things I see on the channel. So when I'm street now, don't feel that I'm not feeling too big or I'm not attending to you the way I'm supposed to. People have really taught me a lesson. And... It's unfortunate that the innocent people will take, test a bit of it because I need to be strict now. Anything that is not, everything will not be on business level. I'm not going to be sympathetic with anybody, nothing like empathy again, because when I bring out my heart, my time, my everything, my energy to do things for you to smile, what do I get in return? This is the second person, then the third person. She was sacked from where she was working in Lagos. She called me, she's our subscriber. She called me that look at the problem she's having and her mother is very sick, that she's the breadwinner in the family. I did some work. They called her back and paid her the eight months she stayed at home. She now told me that she's looking for another accommodation, that when she get accommodation, that is going to pay me the money I use for her spiritual work. I accepted what happened later. So when I now said, ah, why is this girl not paying me? She'll be receiving and they increase her salary after everything. She uh, why is she not why don't she want to pay me my money? I called her. She didn't pick. I sent her a message that I need my money before the end of so 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 time. She replied to me that she's going to pay me, that I should give her some time. I relaxed. After two months, I got her number again. I sent her the last message. Do you know what this girl did? She blocked me, being a fool. She doesn't know I have 101 means of getting my money back. Yes, that is what most of them don't remember. So after the whole thing, when I noticed that she blocked me, I started laughing in my mind. I told my husband, I said, you see why I, I will stop doing good? You said I should, I should help people that that is my calling. You see why I want to stop doing good? My husband felt bad because he was there the day this girl was begging me, crying, swearing with everybody. There is a life in this world. What did I get? And I, and I laughed. I took another number. I called her. I said, I think you are joking with the wrong person. I am so so person. But since you blocked me without being scared, I am going to teach you a, a little lesson so that next time there are people you don't eat their money and go scot free. She thought it was just an empty threat. I, did, I just got angry and did something. 
she was sacked and this time around she was arrested that was when the younger sister Nasty calling me I told them that the only way I can make them to free her is if she pays me my money and I told them how much she's going to pay me which the elder brother transferred the money I'm not I didn't just do work for her I did for her two siblings and they are okay which the elder brother transferred the money I blocked them without doing the work why because I want to pay back so why am I saying this here? Some of you will call on my WhatsApp. If it's before, and I will just follow you step by step. I will even be sending you video links. I will tell you, buy this, do this. You, and when you do it, give me feedback. If you watch for some time, I don't do that again. I will just tell you, go and watch my videos. That is not my real, it's not my real, it's not the real me because I don't have that heart. But I have to, you know, organize myself if i don't organize myself like that people will take me for granted those people they are now the one begging me to give me those i don't need the money again but let them face the rock of god that is my own if you hurt me beyond i mean who i'm human and i know that by the grace of god i can i know how to communicate with god and anything i say to come to but it may not come immediately but i am very sure within a shortest period of time it will happen when it starts happening. Anywhere you go, any prophet you meet, the person will tell you to come and meet me. That is just it. That is why people that knows me physically know that I don't look for trouble. I'm always on my own. Okay? So when you see me, ah, Solution Empire, you are not responding to my message. You, I don't like the way you treated me. Know that there are people that made me to be like that. So don't feel that I am not feeling too big or I am wicked. I am not. But I have to adjust myself, buckle my shoe. And fasting my seat belt so that I'll be strong and wise enough to face the wicked people amongst us. If not, I will, they will rule me down. There are many instances I need to give. I don't want this video to be too long. I have seen cases of people that own channels on YouTube. When they come, they will be asking me questions for them to go and service their own clients. And sometimes I will know, I will just tell you, why are you asking me? Do you have a channel? Some of them will confess to owning a channel. Some of them will just ignore me and block me. That is why I no longer respond to messages on WhatsApp. If you open a channel, you should be able to ask God to give you directions on how to rule people under you. You don't take my knowledge and use it to make money. It's not done anywhere. Okay? So if I'm a beast street now, please bear with me. Yes, I, I am working with a wicked set of people that I need to adjust myself. I need to prepare myself so that I don't get, it doesn't affect me, it doesn't affect good people amongst us. There are a lot of good people amongst us here, but in order not to, I don't know how to fish the good ones out, so everybody will test a little of it. Maybe or if God proves otherwise, maybe when you come to me, I will attend to you the way I used to attend to people, and by the grace of God, you'll be free from whatever that is holding you, whatever bondage that is holding you, God is going to losing it to you and uh, losing it from you okay yes so that I'm crying don't mind the way my voice is I'm really crying I am bitter. okay yes but at the end I will still smile because I know the God I serve have come to the end of today's video thank you for watching keep supporting the channel keep sharing the gospel by the grace of God we all win together I love you all. Thank you for your understanding and thank you for hearing me out. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.